It's time to welcome the Wine Ladies with Georgia and Suzanne, an entertaining hour topped up with great ideas about wine, where to dine, anything and everything to do with the vine. Great conversation, lots of laughter, guests from all walks of life, food and wine, music, art, sports, and much more, all on The Wine Ladies. Hi everybody, it's us, The Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and welcome everyone to The Wine Ladies, One Sip at a Time. We're live here today on thatchannel.com. And to all our friends and fans on Facebook, on Twitter, and thewineladies.com, as always, we always have to say to you guys, thanks for following. And Suzanne, I think I would like to start off by wishing everybody a happy Easter. Mm -hmm. Although I have to say, where are all the daffodils? What is <laughs> happening this year? <laughs> I hope the Easter Bunny brings everybody some wonderful chocolates, some fantastic wines, and perhaps a lovely sparkling wine to boot. Absolutely. Well, bubblies do it every time for me. I know that. And add good friends and family to that, and you've got the perfect, perfect situation and the blend, perfect blend for the holiday weekend. So we're going to talk about a new sparkling wine that has just hit the market here mm -hmm. in Ontario. We're going to be also going to be talking about rosés. They are really, really hot right now. They're versatile, and they are absolutely perfect for the Easter holiday. Don't forget about a little bit of chocolate as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, before we do that, Suzanne, let's raise our glasses. And like we always do, our traditional toast to all of our viewers and listeners. Cheers, everybody. Like I said, Cheers. we hope you have a wonderful weekend. All right. So we're going to be talking about Girls Night Out, and this is a rosé, and it's absolutely perfect for spring, and that is part of the show today. Absolutely. All, all right. So our first guest. All right. Our first guest is... Uh, Doug Beatty, he's the marketing vice president of Colio Estate Wines and the man behind the famous and fabulous <laughs> Girls' Night Out brand, <laughs> Mr. Doug Beatty is joining us here today. And it's been a long time, Doug, we haven't seen you. So welcome back to the Wine Ladies Television. It's, it's been months, I think. We're, uh, we're happy to be here today. Awesome to have you back. And of course... She's got the brains, she's got, the, she's got the beauty, love her new hairdo, she looks amazing, and she's got the incredible marketing savvy, I have to say. <laughs> Alison Modesto is here with us, a marketing and sales coordinator for Collier Estate Wines, and of course, Quais, Cor, Quais, <laughs> and of, Quais, of course, Girls' Night Out Wines. Alison, great to have you back. Thanks for having me. The dynamic duo behind Girls' Night Out Wines. Yeah, what a it, huge success story that brand has been. It's been wonderful. We've been very, very fortunate that we've had... Uh, that we've engaged the consumer to this point um, like we have and we've got some other tricks up our sleeve and mm -hmm. uh, and you you um, introduced Allison as the uh, marketing coordinator I call her the conscience of the brand so we're gonna have to get her Can new I business that cards business that reflect card? that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. because really if anything that's the one thing that we've done that I think has engaged the audience uh, and of course it's uh, uh, predominantly female but mm -hmm. we've kept the brand true to its um, its nature and and with the help of Allison and and our respected female colleagues at the winery the brand still has um, uh, it still resonates with the marketplace out there we're very fortunate absolutely now you started off with um, I think it was the Chardonnay and the Merlot were those the first two or the rosé what were the first two and you have quite a few SKUs now what were the first two uh, first two wines you started off with well we started off with Three. With three? Okay. And then we started off with the Chardonnay yep. and a Merlot, and then the Rosé, which was a blend between the Chardonnay and the Merlot. Mm -hmm. And now how many SKUs have you got? You've got a whole bunch of varietals oh out there now. Nine. Ten. Ten? Ten yeah. and soon to be twelve. Yeah. So our family is growing. Yes, it is. And we're actually, there's one wine that we want to talk about today, because Suzanne mentioned that um, sparkling wines are very versatile and always always bring a celebra celebratory note. And we have Easter coming around the corner. You guys are also introducing a Girls' Night Out sparkling wine. What it, took you so long? Yeah, uh, that's you know a favorite. <laughs> that's exactly uh, what the audience has been telling us all along, and it was just a matter of uh, uh, finding the right product and the right package. And, and I think that we've done a, a wonderful job. The, the package has this glittery... Uh, you know, Hollywood prom night sort of uh, yeah. uh, approach to the uh, the dress. It uh, it reflects the light around it, um, and we're we're very pleased with uh, with the way the package has turned out. But the wine inside is really special. It's as you know, sparkling wine just can go with anything. 
Absolutely. Potato chips, popcorn, it's everything. Spectacular. <laughs> you name it. And this is not the this is not made with the traditional grape varieties of Champagne. This is this is a, a Riesling, 100% Riesling. It's a Riesling, is that yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So it's it's got some great, uh, you know, uh, zest to it. There's some uh, sour apple. Lots of things happening in the mm -hmm. in the Riesling blend that make it. Uh, now, why did you choose the Riesling? Because you do grow uh, Chardonnay and yep. you do grow Pinot Noir over at the at the estate. We've been there and we've seen those vines. We, uh, we, we I guess the, the, the reason for that was the flavor profile. We wanted to mm -hmm. keep a, a certain little hint of sweetness in the flavor profile. That, okay. Uh, um, it's still very dry, but it's got that hint of fruit and 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 a little bit of an off dry sweetness to it. So we're. We're, uh, that, that's really what we were looking for. We were looking for the versatility that Riesling offers in that, in that kind of uh, flavor profile range. So. And these are great value wines too, because it's, is it fourteen ninety five? Is that what the Riesling sells for? For Allison? the sparkling. For the sparkling, yeah. yeah. The other VQAs are twelve ninety five. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. I think actually we should um, we should open up that that sparkling wine. Unfortunately, I forgot oh, my wait, saber. Oh, wait, 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 That's right. I have to tell the story. George <laughs> and I were just in the Okanagan, and uh, we did visit Summerhill Winery, and they're known for their their sparklings out there mm -hmm. in the Okanagan, and uh, she had to try... The pyramid. The pyramid. The pyramid. The, pyramid, the, pyramid, the Summerhill yes, Winery. Yeah. That's like great, great folks out there. And, um, and you know, Georgia finally tried to open up a bottle of their sparkling with the saber, and she did it first crack. So to speak. Good for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it was awesome. It was very exciting. And I could see Suzanne looking for a place to hide behind a shield. I was. Herself. I said, it's not going to be just one lady. It's going to be two. Or else there I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> I've been to one of her parties. I know she can wield a knife. Woo! <laughs> 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 a little bit of celebration. Uh, you know what? That's that what happens so when, uh, <laughs> when the wine's in transit and it's warm. <laughs> That's right. That's Drinks true. are on me. Oh. <laughs> Literally. Oh, That's hilarious. We'll have to get a napkin for the wipe to wipe your hands off. That will happen at the break. <laughs> that's the thing about sparkling wine too, isn't it? It had you have to make sure when it comes to opening it that it's well chilled because if it isn't, case yeah, in and point. That's, yeah, and I and I made the fatal error. And, and what I always do, I was actually going to show you the proper way to open a bottle of sparkling wine. And what I always do is I always leave the hood on, right. the wire hood. Because it acts like uh, chains on a tire in a snow, <laughs> in the snow where it, you use it as a grip. And what you're supposed to do is turn the bottle slowly, right. yes. grab right. the cork, and and let the uh, pressure ease off the cork. And but, you get uh, a little bit of a hiss or a hush. Yeah, you want to keep all of the effervescence in the in the product, not on your clothes. Right. <laughs> oh, but that was still worth it. It was a lot of fun, anyways. I don't know. We're I think celebrating sparkling, spring. Right, exactly. Or sparkling wine, uh, a sparkling Riesling probably isn't too bad as a kind of cologne anyways, right? So I think, yeah, I think it it's just, all good, Doug. It makes it difficult in a ride program to convince them that you haven't had <laughs> anything. We've got these cool little glasses that we just discovered. Um, it's the Go Vino brand, and uh, they've got like the regular goblets, uh, you know, for regular wine, but they're just introducing now these awesome little champagne sparkling wine goblets, and... Uh, flutes and uh, let's pour some in here they're they're plastic and great for patio season and with, we, the, uh, with the spring and the summer coming up these, i think these are great to to uh you know to carry with you yeah. you can put and them on the back of your indent bicycle indentation for your thumb uh-huh mm -hmm. you probably could get them branded too you know with your own logos and stuff yeah, i've on. seen them branded well. yeah this yeah. is there you go thank there you go. my dear thank you mm. I always like a wine glass mm -hmm. that when you drop it, it bounces. <laughs> Thank you. Those wine glasses are Doug friendly. Doug friendly. <laughs> that smells yes, delicious. Mm. So that was green apple on the nose? So it's mm. available at all the, the LCBOs now? Right uh, it's just getting into distribution now. You should get it in, in most of the major stores across the province. And, uh, so in time for Easter, people want to celebrate? Uh, it's out there right now, yeah. Okay, it's out there so right now. It's out at our retail stores as well. So. Oh, and oh right, yeah. And you guys have like 14 retail outlets 14 out there, retail stores so. from uh, Windsor to Ottawa. So mm -hmm. we're, we're well distributed across the country, but the, uh, sorry, across the province. And, uh, and this is in, as I say, most of the major liquor stores. So it's... Um, Awesome. I know, and wow. we, we cheers. Cheers. Salute. That's right. Cheers. cheers. Salute, everybody. Happy Easter. That's the only problem. They don't clink. <laughs> they don't <laughs> clink. <laughs> we could do a clink. Clink. <laughs> now, also, we we do get a lot of emails about girls' night out wines, and uh, 
we need to get those girls' night out wines out west and all over the place, and you know, into BC and into the states. People want girls' night out wines. Come on, Doug. Come on, Allison. Get working on that. I know it's um, <laughs> it's one step at a time. We needed to uh, own our own backyard, and I think we've done that. Given that the, uh, the Chardonnay is now the largest selling VQA Chardonnay in the province. Wow, and the rosé that you've got in your glass is, mm -hmm. is the largest selling VQA rosé in Ontario now. Wow, that's amazing. And that's amazing. with a lot of help to uh, our friends, uh, the wine ladies or something. Yeah. <laughs> the name escapes me right now. But we have anyway. Georgia. And I'm Suzanne. And we're the wine ladies. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. You know what? Let's go to a quick break. And then when we get back, we'll continue with this uh, wonderful show. And our friends here from Colio Estate Wines we will be right back in just a moment. Hey, Georgia. Hey, Suzanne. Welcome to Girls' Night Out. Did you remember the wine? Of course. After all, we're, we're the wine ladies. <laughs> we're in the kitchen. So what wine did you bring? Well, for our Girls' Night Out, we brought Girls' Night Out. I brought the Chardonnay. I brought the Merlot. <laughs> well, my guy bought me this. Too funny. The Rosé. <laughs> well, let the party begin. Girls' Night Out wines. Hugely popular VQA wines best enjoyed with friends. Available at the LCBO and other fine retail locations. For more information, go to girlsnightoutwines.com. In Beauty Med Spa is constantly researching the latest innovations from around the world and bringing them home to you. It's a wonderful meeting of Eastern philosophies of skin and body care with exciting and innovative Western technology. All the In Beauty Med Spa health and wellness programs are medically supervised. A physician and dietitian are also available for client consultations. In Beauty Med Spa, inspire the nature of beauty. Visit InBeautySpa.com. Hey Suzanne, it's the only machine that I need. I know, it's a great workout in just a fraction of the time. It made me get excited about workouts again. T-Zone Vibration is making people sit up and take notice. Employing the newest technology and fitness equipment, T-Zone Vibration gives you an hour workout in just 10 minutes. Try it, believe it, you'll want to bring one home. T-Zone Vibration. Call 905-483-8676. T-Zone Vibration, 905-483-8676. 